Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of the Duo Group Iron Man. Recently, my teammate and I have been doing TOA in search of a second Fang, which we got in the last video. And the reason why we were going for that was that we could try out a method for Corp that would require both of us to have Osmentum's Fangs. I personally have a lot of experience with Corp. I've done over 1500 KC before, not on this account, but I don't really have experience outside of soloing. I might have done like masses or small teams years ago very briefly, but nothing I would remember or that'd be relevant now anyways considering the thing exists and since the game has changed so much in the last five plus years. Which I guess could be said about really any boss that we do on this account because I really only have experience bossing as a solo player, which is why I've really really been looking forward to Corp on this account. The two things that I've really been most excited about since the start is Corp and God Wars. I don't know why, but I feel like that's just the peak group Iron Man content to do and we have never jumped into corp on this account until today in this video we are going to be doing it the corp okay shut up i have no idea how this is going to go there's not too many duo corp guides on the internet like whether it's on the wiki or youtube or whatever it's mostly like just solo guides or small team or mass guides and small teams are usually referring to three plus but there's not too much for duos so there's gonna be a lot of just figuring stuff out as we go like if it's worth it for us to make cannonballs and use cannons figuring out how many specs would be best to do on corp figuring out our supply usage how many prayer pots and super combats and uh, probably most importantly food we're going to use. Food's probably going to be the biggest factor and as you can see right here I have just come off a very long Karambwan grind of fishing over a hundred thousand raw Karambwans. My guess is that we'd probably be going through like 50 Karambwans per Corp KC. I have no idea it's just a totally random guess so we'll find out but if that is the case then we have to do a lot of cooking. Luckily, I've got all the fishing out of the way, but fishing has been basically the sole AFK activity I've done since I maxed on the group Iron Man. But I guess now that I finished that sort of, and I have all these raw Karambwans, I suppose it makes sense for me to now make my sole AFK activity be cooking instead. I just ran the numbers at the end of the last video, so I'm gonna make a little graphic to put up on screen and while I'm cooking these, I, I just wanna start cooking these already because I've been talking for so long, but feel free to pause the video here if you really wanna take it in and just get an idea of how long this really took to fish this many. This is gonna be my first time getting post 99 cooking XP. I just cooked a few crown ones already, but look at my XP. I've not done any cooking since getting 99, so. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how much I end up cooking and tracking all the fish that I cook and the cooking XP that I get and stuff. And yes, you can do this whole spam one tick clicking thing and whatnot, but I mean, I need something to AFK when I eat and edit, and this is a very relaxing activity of something that we need to do. The 100k stack of Karambwans is going to be gone. I kind of get sentimentally attached to certain items or I guess stacks of items in the game, so... It's a very sad moment for me. Wow, I'm about to get six hour logged. I've uh, I've spent a while cooking today, but we are gonna be going to court very soon. But it's kind of a good thing because I didn't really have too many cooked karambwans before, but now I got a pretty decent amount, at least to start us off with. I'm just gearing up now. I'm gonna give Spook the heart to boost her magic level because her magic level is lower than mine. Uh, and that's probably gonna be pretty important for magic defense. Or I guess we could trade it back and forth before each kill maybe. And I'll put 3,000 Karambons in the group storage for her as well. I'm gonna rearrange the POH to have this room with the jewelry box over here because I think that might be a bit faster. Then I'm gonna shift right click with menu entry swapper and then make the left click be my last teleport so I don't have to right click for that option each time. So first things first, there's a couple plugins I wanna show. There's the hub party panel plugin plugin which allows us to join a party together so we can see each other's gear and uh, you can see like our health on screen when we're next to each other in prayer or whatever you wanted to show. I've shown that in the past but something I've never tried before is the spec counter in a party. Yeah special attack counter. I think I used this for corp when I was doing it a long time ago but I have no idea if this is actually going to work with the party plugin because it'd be nice if I can be at the POH or the bank for example and if Spook hits a spec, I would like to be able to know that she hit it without her having to tell me every spec that she hits. Granted, we got Fangs, so we don't have to do the full spec down method. We'll probably just be doing maybe like four Dragon Warhammers or something. So it's not a big deal, but if we are gonna eventually end up doing hundreds of kills, it'd be nice to not have to call it out every single time. Our first few kills will probably be pretty bad and all over the place, and I'll we'll probably just be like adjusting stuff over and over. So I'm not gonna show all the minor tweaks and all the things we're changing. I'll just wait until we've done a few 
few kills and we kind of have our first basic method figured out. But later on we might end up adding cannon, I might add thralls as well with spellbook swap maybe, but we're gonna go hype ourselves up and jump on in and get our first corp kill. Now, one last look at the gear too, I have the Ring of Suffering with the recoil on because I think that should add the decent amount of DPS. I'll figure out eventually though how many charges I go through per corp KC. Oh it's a new music track. Okay let's see if the special attack thing, there's the counter. Did you- I hit the second one. Oh nice, okay that showed up for me but I'm not sure if it's because I was in the same area or not. Here you go back in and then Use your specs and we'll, I'll just see if it pops up again here because I just want to make sure this works. <laughs> oh nice, yeah, okay cool, did change for me. And when the core comes out, you'll see the core. Uh, you could just run back and forth, like see me like going back and forth two tiles. Oh yeah. Because when it's under you, you'll be taking constant damage. Okay, uh, yeah, dot, dodge it, dodge it, dodge it. Um, I'll, I'll show you later how to make it. Actually, I think the cannon kills it permanently. Um, but there's another trick to it. Well, it seems like you got that part figured out, at least, the running back and forth. A lot of food now. Uh oh, you could tell you out and grab more food. I think someone just has to be in the room, maybe. If no one's in the room, does Corp... I think Corp heals extra fast if no one's in the room. But hopefully it doesn't go back to full, does it? Okay, now it's still low health. Okay, I died too. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so close to dying. Uh, oh wait, do we have to, oh my gosh, okay, we, oh my gosh, wait. <laughs> okay, first corp kill, <laughs> let's just loot this, okay. Um, oh, cannonballs, that's actually really good. There's a title for the video, your corporeal beast kill count is one. I just leave prayer on the whole time as we're specking down because we're just restoring it right away anyways. Oh, yeah. yeah, I'd say if you're ever below like 70 hit points, then you want to just be spam clicking food. Huge. I literally maxed without having a cannon on the account or ever using one. Okay, here's your 750k. This is why I haven't bought any variations of the max cape so I could uh, so I could give you money to buy a cannon. If you use the talk to option, it's a little bit cheaper. It's 750k, but if you use the, the trade option to buy it that way, it's 800k. So just go to the, the talk to option. Do you have the double cannonball mold? No. Oh, okay. I'll just give you uh, a few cannonballs to start with. I got a bunch from Muspa and Serb and probably somewhere else too. We can like lure him over here. Like if you go in, then he'll be aggroed on me. And now you can just walk in there and like do whatever you want. So if you need to set up a cannon, you'll see when you go in there, he won't aggro on you at all. So you can just run around in there and he's still aggroed onto me until you hit him. If you hit him, then he'll aggro you. Oh, oh wait, leave, 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 oh. <laughs> just despawn. I died, I freaking died specking, are you serious? Wait, can you um just like lure him and then let me get my stuff? <laughs> you just go in then go right back out. Okay. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna add protect item onto my quick prayers as we're specking down corp, I think I might need that. I, I paid 170k to die, so if you want to go in and start attacking him, because I can't go in because I'll get stomped, so you go in and start attacking and then I will follow. Nice, we didn't even have to tell you out this kill. Wow. Have all these Karambons. Yeah, it's a legit method too, like suiciding a few inventories of Karambons and then starting the fight. But I think it's more for soloing, like solo Iron Man. We don't need to do that. Hot on your feet. I got I got a combat task. Oh, kill corp without anyone killing the dark core or taking damage from the dark core. Oh, you got the drop, nice. You could add a uh, fire rune so that way you could use GE teleport so you could bank faster. I'm gonna stop showing every kill now because I was just recording every single kill. Okay, I'm gonna try manually killing it. Uh, okay. If there's no ashes that appear, then it will be permanently dead, yeah. Which is what the cannon does too, but I'm just do doing that to speed up the process a bit. Should probably time a kill too. Right now my only sense of time is how many venges I use throughout the kill. But even then I'm not like perfectly getting the venge every 30 seconds. <laughs> After 10 kills we've used a total of about probably a bit over 400 cannonballs. And Corp drops 2k cannonballs every 30 kills which means every 30 kills, we're only gonna be going through like 1200, even if we say 1500, we'll still be profiting a lot of cannonballs. So we shouldn't theoretically have to make our own cannonballs for killing corp. Okay. 
Okay, that <laughs> core died immediately. Oh no, I just came back here, immediately started cooking an inventory and looked away to edit without even looking at the screen. I was making the wrong kind of bonds. Well, I'm cooking once again, and I guess the trend with these post-99 skills is that I'll be able to show the milestones for both virtual levels and probably 10 mil XP milestones. Uh, so there is a hundred cooking. I'm just doing my birdhouse run before bed and I just want to show the cooking XP I gained today. Uh, this is like, I guess, nine hours of cooking and almost two million cooking XP. And I was having a look at the banked XP plugin and it turns out I still have over 26 million banked cooking XP plus more from the stuff I don't have selected here. And that's just crazy to think about. I literally have two 99 cookings banked. So I can still use up a bunch of supplies, give some of the spook for her to get 99 and still get so much more XP for myself too. It's crazy. <laughs> Should I tell you out? No, I'll make it back. Okay. It saved me 50K by having protect item on. So <laughs> I've just been leaving that on the whole kill. <laughs> I forgot the exact radius, but I think I can get them from here. No, I can't. Yeah, if you want to maybe learn for me. If my health gets to the point where I can eat a Karambwan to heal 18, I will eat a Karambwan and heal 18. What are the things on the ground in the core player? They kind of look like fish bones. I can't tell what it is. I know it's not like giant fish bones, but it looks like giant fish bones if you're like zoomed out. Have you not done wild gothic sleeps? Do you seriously not know the lore of the game? No, I don't play RS3. It's weak, weak. All right, it is time for a full run through of our duo corp kills. Keep in mind, this is not the best method and we're definitely gonna continue to tweak things as we go and figure stuff out. This is just the early stages of corp and the first thing that we found that has been working for us so far to get comfortable with the boss. But the general concept will always be the same for us, which is spec the boss down by teleporting over and over to the POH to restore our specs and everything else. And then after its defense is lowered, then we go in for the actual boss. Fight. As for the number of special attacks, what we've been doing is hitting 4 Dragon Warhammer specs and 8 Arclight specs. Like I said, this may not and probably isn't uh, the best thing to do. It may be better to maybe just do 3 Warhammer specs possibly, but honestly, like it doesn't really make a difference to us spending an extra few seconds doing an extra spec that we don't need to. We're not exactly going for speed run times here if you couldn't tell by like literally everything else we've done on the account before. We did try no arc light specs and just straight up using the Dragon Warhammer for like four or five special attacks, but we were getting shredded by Corp. We had to use up like more than one inventory of food each, so we can't do that. But maybe if you have max gear, then you could just simply use the Dragon Warhammer and be fine. When the specs actually hit, the Dragon Warhammer special attack lowers your opponent's defense by 30% of what's remaining, while arc light lowers its attack, strength, and defense by 5% of the total amount, not just what's remaining. 10% for demons, but Corpse not a demon. So really the main thing that damages us is Corpse mage attacks, while its melee hits on us are generally not a big deal. If you wanted to fully lower Corpse stats, you'd have to use more Arclight specs and use BGSs, because BGSs can decrease Corpse magic. What I used to do when soloing, which again I don't know if it's the best thing to do, it's just what I did, it was 3 Dragon Warhammers, 20 Arclights, and 200 BGS damage. And this whole process of specking takes up a lot of time. And when you're specking, make sure the Warhammer and Arclight are on accurate since it doesn't matter how high you hit as long as you hit. And if you're using BGS, it should be set to strength because with BGS the damage you do is how much you lower. The last trip before we're done specking, I fill up my cannon because when I go back to Corpse Lair, Corp will aggro me and then come next to the entrance. And at that point, Spook Dog can go in and attack, Corp will aggro her and then I can run in. I have to wait for her to go first because if I run in while Corp is aggroed on me, he'll stop me when I go in because he'll just be right next to the entrance wherever I move to. Uh, which is another good thing to mention, by the way, don't run under Corp or else he'll stomp you. Corp will send out the core at some point throughout the fight, which will leech your HP to heal Corp if you're standing on top of it or next to it, so you gotta run two tiles at a time. Usually the cannons will deal with the core, but if they're not hitting it, you can open up a skill menu to stall your cannon for a tick, or you can just run to different tiles instead of going back and forth between the same two. The core tends to focus on the player that's north or east of Corp, and I heard maybe it doesn't spawn under you if you're right next to the entrance, but we haven't tested that enough yet to know if it's actually true. And when the core dies, if it leaves ashes for someone, then it can spawn again during the fight, 
but if it dies and doesn't leave ashes for anyone, then no more will spawn for the rest of the fight. If you fully spec down Corp, then Zami's Spear would be better to use than Fangs. If you only Dragon Warhammer Corp, then Fangs are better to use than Spears. And the reason why is because the Fang is extremely accurate, so by lowering Corp's defense all the way down, you're not really getting much benefit for the Fang. I believe with the amount of specs we're doing, it does put Corp's defense at zero, so I think the DPS calc said Zami Spear would be like 1-2% to better than the Fang. But the Fang comes with some nice specs you can use, so that's pretty fun. Cannons can do double hits based on this graphic on screen, and I believe it goes off of the southwest tile for larger creatures. So because I'm on the east side, I can't really have my cannon down there, and it also might mess with the cannons hitting the core. But once we figured that out and Spookdog got her cannon in the double hit spot, she started getting a lot more of the kills. However, I also started using Thralls, as you'll see in later clips, so that kind of balanced it out again. I mean, not that it's a competition, because we're on the same team, of course. It's just, you know, the more DPS we can do, the better. And she's not 99 con, so she's been using the regular spellbook to use POH Tele and GE Tele for banking, instead of spending hours and hours collecting soft clay and making tablets. I hope this was useful, and as we change stuff over time, I'll either explain more specific stuff as we figure it out, or at the very least, it'll be obvious looking at the clips. Oh my god. <laughs> Don't die. I've never died in this game before. True. I just had like a Family Guy style flashback in my head. Just pretend you saw it. Oh, nice. <laughs> That's sick. That's so cool. Yeah. Oh, it's so cool. Rocking up to places on the group Iron Man wearing the spirit <laughs> shield. What does it do exactly? I freak over. I feel like it's kind of like a crystal shield. There, I don't think there's any like special mm -hmm. effects with just the plain spirit shield, but it has like decent defense. It's one out of 64 from Corp. And then we have to attach the holy elixir to it, which is one out of about 170. And then you add the sigil to it, which is one out of 585 for the sigil table. Yeah. So we got the easy part out of the way, as you would expect. Yeah. Wait, what's your KC at? 14. I don't even know what mine is. It's been a while. Oh, mine's 16. Okay, so in 30 KC, it's a little bit lucky. Sad it's not the pet. <laughs> Maybe someday. I think I had a dream this morning about getting a pet. I don't remember which pet it was. Maybe it's a sign. Today's the day. I hope so. No, I can't deposit the spirit shield. I don't have pink space. You could just toss it in the group storage. True. Sound like me out here. <laughs> Yeah, except I'm not going to buy more bank space. <laughs> well, it's because you can't afford it, but hey. <laughs> hmm, where's the core at, though? <laughs> See, all I have to do is say it. Works every time. It's th Yeah, it's three less inventory spots. I have seven kinds of runes. Should have done lava rune crafting to 99. Oh, well. I need Book the Dead too. Oh my god, okay, there's a lot of inventory mm -hmm. space taken up. Oh, okay. I saw the green text and the chap, okay. <laughs> so it looks like two thralls is just the right amount of time for Corp, which means we're getting two minute kills at Corp. If I'm below, I forgot what Corp's hit is with the mage attack, but if I'm below like 42 health, I just tell you out after one spec. Okay, it's 65 with mage, but if you're praying mage, it cuts down one third of the damage. Maybe I'm taking less damage because of the suffering giving me more defense than what you have, plus my defense level's higher. Also, I flick between augury every hit I do. Oh. No, I'm just kidding, I'm not actually doing that. Okay. What? Oh, corp I'm a corporeal beast veteran at 25 KC. Oh, the cannonball is nice. Nice. Yeah, so I was thinking every time we get cannonballs and every time we get the onyx bolts E, we could just split those in half because those are like kind of the really nice drops. No swearing during this sigil drop. Just, oh, more cannonballs. If I just put them in the group storage every time, eventually when you decide to come here, you'll be like, wow, look at all these supplies in here that I didn't know were in here before. And it'll be like a little hidden treasure chest. Oh, nice. That's the first Onyx Bolt tea drop. So those those out for 9k it, each. It has like the orange text. Oh, yeah. So it's like, <laughs> it's nice though. That will out for 1575k. Yeah. So, you know, if we split that up, uh, that would be almost 800k for each of us. Yeah. That's a 1 in 25.6 drop, and we're like 
between the two of us at 60 kills. We should have gotten that at least twice by now, if not three times. So the game owes us a few mil by, at this point. Finally, some ROI for the cannon I invested in you. <laughs> Congrats on the strength level. Thanks. For the drop. Alone like Squidward when he... Oh, wait, never mind. You didn't watch Spongebob. <laughs> it's Squidward oh. uh, time travels. He keeps going to different dimensions. And then one of them is just a blank, empty, like white canvas. And then he says alone. And then suddenly all these words alone start... It doesn't make sense unless you've seen it. You can't really explain Spongebob to someone who hasn't watched Spongebob. <laughs> Nice. Mm -hmm. Should have been my collection log slot. I <laughs> believe you would take that away from me. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. It's okay this time. Back to back. Oh my god. You actually... <laughs> There's no way. Oh wow. No, you called it. <laughs> if you called every time, eventually you'll be right. And now I look like a genius. Thank you. Wow, so talented. And the back three back. No, of course it's my drop and it's, yeah. <laughs> Hello, good morning. I am back here cooking and here is 101 virtual level. And after spending many, many hours pondering over this hot stove, I've decided on the goal for this video, which you already know because it's probably going to end up being in the title, is going to be 100 Corp KC. We're currently at 70 KC, so it's going to be like three hours, two or three hours of doing corp, two and a half hours of doing corp, and we'll reach 100kc and we'll get all three sigils in that time and three elixirs, and it's going to be a good time, so that's the goal. Yeah, okay, bye. Hey, I got one! <laughs> For my collection yeah. log, yay. Can't believe we have four of them in like 70kc. <laughs> Getting lucky on the wrong thing. I can't believe it. We should make a whole little corp section in here. <laughs> <laughs> Back to back? No. Never. Yeah, literally never, except that one time. What's your range XP per hour? Um, oh. Oh no. <laughs> it happens. You distracted me. It's all your fault. <laughs> oh, Corporeal Beast Master at 50kc. A lot of the time when I see Corporeal Beast, I think of L'Oreal, like cor Corporeal. <laughs> Is that just me? I think that's just you. Here it is, KC number 100, last one of the video. Wow. Nothing. We got your 99 construction. Yeah. It's raining really hard right now. Wait, listen. It's so cozy and depressing all at the same time. Anyways, I will put Spook Dog's collection log up on screen so you can see I got 63 kills, she got 37 kills. So combined, that is 100 KC. At Corp, all we got was the four spirit shields, but that's okay because it was a lot of fun and we're, I'm sure we're going to come back here in the future, in the next video, for sure. One more thing I want to look at is how many charges I used on the Ring of Suffering for 100 KC. I started at 10,000 charges in here and now we're at 8,600. So I used about 1.4K charges for 100 Corp, which means about 14 charges per kill, which is like slightly less than uh, each Zora KC. So that's really not bad. I thought it'd be a lot more for some reason, but uh, that's really not bad at all. And the KC per hour is around 10 to 12. It's probably a bit more accurate to average it out. So it's like an average of six KC per hour per person. And of course, we don't have the best gear. We're not doing the best methods. We're not playing at maximum efficiency. So I feel like it's pretty realistic for the average duo who's not, you know, someone with billions of GP and they're both max because Spook does not have max melee stats. Here's her stats at the time of uh, our 100 core KC. You can see it's around, like all around 90-ish. Again, this was a lot of fun and I'm really Really looking forward to going back in the next video. How cool, dude, how cool would it be to get a freaking sigil on Group Iron Man? I've always sort of had it in the back of my head that like one of the goals eventually would be to get a sigil and like any of them would be so cool. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna wrap up here. So make sure to check out Spook Dog's channel, which is linked below in every video description. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you have a great day and we'll see you again next time.